48, our temperature. Mike Barrett with good policies. How are you doing, buddy? I'm uh, good. I'm not as foggy as, as, as it is outside. My <laughs> goodness gracious. Well, I've been in a fog here the past few days. Ask anybody. <laughs> and uh, met you outside, said hey to Charlie. He looked like he had a good ride in this morning. Oh, yeah. He's happy as, uh, as he can be riding shotgun in the truck this morning. So. He's riding shotgun. Mm-hmm. All right. So talking insurance, where do you want to go with it this morning? You know, uh, we've talked about it in the past, and I think it really warrants it again. And that is uh, who is the decision maker when it comes to your insurance? Okay. It's you. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. That was all we needed. All right. That's good policy. <laughs> I, you know, over the past couple of weeks, we've gotten a couple of calls with people saying, well, I sold my house. How come, how come I'm getting a bill? Or uh, I even had one person who said that their house had been put into foreclosure, which, of course, we hate to hear. But at the same time, why am I getting a bill? Um, I remember this. I know where you're going now. Yeah. Banks are very good at notifying insurance companies or insurance agents when they need to be listed, when they need to be protected by the policy. They're very good at that. They tend to fail a little bit. Uh, quite consistently when it comes to being relieved of. I mean, we've even had people who've paid a mortgage off a number of years ago, but yet that mortgagee still sits on their policy. And when we get that call, they go, well, why is it still there? Because you and I haven't had this conversation yet. Never told your me bank, it was over. Your bank didn't tell us. So I will say, honestly, we have received on, I say uh, on, on uh, okay. Blue Moon, I yeah. guess, uh, some notices that saying that the, the lien's been paid. But... More, more than likely not. Uh, so really, remember, the contract is between you and the insurance company. So these types of things are conversations that really require you to be a part of it. Because even if we get one of those, we are, because you are the decision maker of the policy, going to reach out to you and go, hey, we got this notice. We're going to remove this. Is that okay? You know, because it could be. I mean, we, we all know mistakes can happen. I don't want to be putting somebody in a, a jeopardy situation by making a choice without their input. So that's related to a homeowner and their policy. Now, with an automobile owner, I'm going to assume that, Same of course, thing. well, yes and no, maybe, okay? And this is why I think I, I thought I'd throw this out there. I like it. Okay, obviously, if somebody has bought a car, mm-hmm. sold a car, you're going to know because they're going to call you for insurance. Exactly. But if they pay it off... They're not going to tell us. And this is what a lot of... T- I've done this in the past, okay? A lot of times you'll find out because now they no longer have to have full coverage insurance. Right, right. You know, so they'll drop it down to liability or, or lower it. Right. Uh, but other than that, we can't just assume. No, and, and that's the worst thing that, especially in our industry, that's literally the worst thing you can do is assume. Because when you're assuming, you're putting somebody potentially in, in a position they don't want to be in. So it's really uh, you know prudent for us to stay in communication with you. Make sure this is what you need it to be. You know, and, and I'll tell you, I'm going to dial back a little bit and kind of sidestep. But you you mentioned when people pay off cars, they sometimes will talk about just removing all physical damage coverage on their vehicle. I don't advise that because I don't care if a vehicle has a lien or not. Loss can happen. And let's say you paid a car off that's still worth ten thousand dollars. Right. Maybe it's only worth five thousand dollars. Do you have five thousand dollars in a bank account or in in liquid assets that are ready to replace a vehicle should that happen? You know, so it's about leveraging your decisions at that point, um, which is a good conversation to have if you are calling us to tell us, "Hey, I paid off my car." You know, well, well the car- or I paid off my home because then you still have you would even have some uh, coverage options there with maybe choosing a higher deductible if you're only really concerned about catastrophic type of losses. Well, the common sense thing for a consumer to do will use me as an example. I just paid off my car, and rather than cut back the insurance, I no longer have the car payment, so now it's justifiable to have the proper insurance on it. Oh, absolutely. So that's why we call Barrett Insurance. Say, hey, Mike, just yeah. want to let you know. Yeah, let's lower them deductibles yeah. if you want to. I mean, you know, and, and I will tell you, uh, and I'm, I guess I'm still on my little sidestep here, but, you know, I don't care if a vehicle is brand new or 30 years old. Every vehicle is susceptible to a glass loss, and glass loss will fall under comprehensive, also known as other than collision coverage. You look at your policy, that is one of the cheapest key coverages available. Uh, on your policy. So I recommend comprehensive on every vehicle because it also covers for, in addition to glass, hitting an animal, theft, vandalism, flood. We talk about how about flood hail? is excluded. Yeah, hail. Hell yeah. Tree it's limbs. Covered. Tree limbs, yes. Falling okay. objects. Uh, if you store a vehicle in a garage and the garage, that's a big misconception is a lot of people say, you know, when we're talking about coverage for a structure, well, I keep this in there. I keep my, you know, maybe it's a big canopy structure and I've got my RV in there. Maybe 
it's a garage and I've got my classic car or my motorcycle or my snowmobile. Remember, those are not going to be covered by the property coverage for that structure. Because it's not a piece of it. Not a piece of it. And it's also not considered your personal property because personal property is not going to be covered if it is subject to motor vehicle registration or is a motor vehicle, really. Uh, so you really should make sure you have separate coverage for those things. All right. So contact info is? 748-5224. Visit our website, thebarrettagency.com. We are on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. And you can find us online, thebarrettagency.com. Did I say that already? I might have. Uh, also, Google, Facebook, and YouTube is Barrett Insurance Agency. You looked at me like, I wasn't listening to you. No, I was going to say it again. <laughs> BarrettInsurance.com. All right, my friend. You enjoy the sunshine today. We'll chat in a week. Maybe I am foggy. You too. <laughs> you are. See ya. All right. Music coming your way from Lizzo and Charlie Puth.